five, four. Hi, and welcome to KJ News. I'm your host, Kyle Padilla. And Joaquin Perez. And today, we will be talking about the Syrian refugee crisis that is affecting society on a global scale. The refugee crisis first started in March of 2011 in Syria, where anti-government demonstrations were first taking place as part of the Arab Spring. Although these started as mostly peaceful protests, the Syrian government quickly took action and violently ended these protests. This caused the protesters to take arms and fight back against their oppressive government. This in turn led to even more opposition to the government. Army defectors and civilians had created the Free Syrian Army as a loosely organized group to rebel. This led to violence that had affected even normal civilians, forcing many to flee their, from their homes and be displaced around the world. As previously mentioned, the uprisings had started with the Arab Spring. President Bashar al-Assad had inherited Syria's dictatorship in April 2011 and had taken down the country's state of emergency. He thus began a series of violent crackdowns on demonstrators and even resorted to opening fire in, ref in restive cities. As soldiers started defecting from the corrupt government, an opposing government was formed called the Syrian National Council. However, this government and rebellion are still factitious. They may be working towards the same goal, but they are not working together. One reason for this could be their ethnic differences. The elites in the military are mostly Alawite being a minority and con constituting 12% of the population, while the Sunni Muslims are the main support of the rebellion and is 79% of the population. This violence caused many people to move away from their homes, either voluntarily or forcefully, because they were in an active war zone or their homes were destroyed. A Syrian becomes a refugee every 15 seconds by bombings and attacks. Food and medical supplies are scarce. This combined with the attacks have caused the deaths of over 250,000 people, almost half of whom are civilians. These deaths and displacement rates only increased when other nations became involved in 2015 with airstrikes that targeted the rebels and destroyed homes and innocent civilian lives in the process. However, even more Syrians have started to become displaced. 6.6 .6 million Syrians are displaced within their own country, while 4.8 million have fled away from the conflict to Turkey, Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt, and Iraq. Many are asking for asylum in other foreign countries, such as Germany or Sweden because they are part of the European Union. Leaving Syria can also be quite dangerous, as those who want to escape must take in a journey that is many miles long while facing the dangers of snipers or kidnapping to fight for one side's cause. Despite this, only 10% of refugees live in the refugee camps, while the rest struggle in urban communities or rural environments that they are still not used to. The first Syrian refugee camp, Jordan's Atari, which opened in June of 2012, as many of the basic necessities for a communal setting, having a marketplace, a main street, sports fields, and educational centers, while having those who stay alive in white tents for shelter and fend off against the elements in the desert. A total of 80,000 Syrians now live there. Over the past year, there has been a large influx of new refugees with the growing conflict. Syrians have now become the world's largest refugee problem and population, becoming an even worse problem than the Rwandan genocide. This civil war has greatly affected all refugees. Many of these refugees face hard separation between their families due to the conditions and situations they face. As the count of refugees increasingly grow, each and every day suffering, con suffering continues in the life of these families. This is made even worse by the fact that about 9 of 10 Syrian refugees are either poor or expected to be poor and many of them are made, of, are made up of children and women. These people are more vulnerable to the monetary and food shocks due to the poverty they live in. Due to their conditions, they also have limited and inadequ inadequate education, which is deteriorating human capital. These refugees have limited legal rights and access to public services due to unknown demand. The world is facing the world's largest forced migration in our recent history. As it started as a small-scale problem in the country, it started to grow at an extensive rate, which spilled outside the borders into many neighboring countries, such as Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, and Iraq. This impacts the world with how these vast populations suffer the forced migrations in their country. Refugees have also started to pour into other parts of the world, coming into America and starting to cause problems for the European Union. Countries part of the EU have started to make refugee camps for Syrians. However, just recently, France has started to clear out their jungle refugee camps. What could this mean for other EU refugees? 
Well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining us on this discussion about the Syrian refugee crisis. I was your host, Joaquin Perez. And Kyle Video. We'll see you again soon on KJ News. Bye!